because you played a different card, I can finally do this. If you control a dragon type monster, which I do, target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy that target. It's and if not you do, a spell or trap card, it's a world card. It literally says spell. It it's a, a world card, it says world in the title. It says spell. Let me look, let me look. All right, it says lost world spell card. Hello and welcome to a brand new show we are calling House Rules. Here on Smosh Games, we play a lot of games and we normally play those rules wrong. So we thought, why not make that into a show? But before we hop into the game, make sure to like and subscribe. Today, Shane and Damien are going to be battling in Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm gonna try to jot down the rules and I'm going to try to improve on them. And mm. you guys are gonna play a second round, but now with my rules. And you're gonna see how much better Yu-Gi-Oh! becomes. So you don't know anything about the basic rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! The only thing I know is Blue Eyes White Dragon is cool. Great, well no, that means my deck is awesome. It's time! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! The trading card game. Players take turns drawing cards from their respective decks and playing them onto the field. I will summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. So in order to come alive, two monsters that are already dead need to be more dead. So it's like a Frankenstein. It's literally like... It's not on a train. It's not, yeah, sure. Each player starts with 8,000 life points and tries to lower their opponent's health with monster attacks, spells, and traps until one player's life total is reduced to zero points, or they have no more cards to draw from their main deck. Let's see what Noah was able to figure out on his own. Did you get all that? <laughs> so you all know the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, but you've never played the game of New gi -Oh. And that's what we're doing today. We're playing New gi -Oh. What? So here I have the setup that you both were playing, but both of you seem to know intuitively that there were 16 squares that you could put cards in. Now I'm not sure what they are, but I'm gonna try to infer from what I saw, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. uh, which means that this first row should be monsters, right? So we're gonna put M for monster. Yes, I do double draw the first line in my M's. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Ew! Ew! What the f If there's monsters in the front row, it seems like there's spells in the second row. See, we got our spells here. And then there was like a world card you did. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna put world cards in the top. I'm gonna do a W. And then it seems like you have a monster that was in your corner. I don't know what that is. No, I'm gonna call it your god. That's your okay. god card. Okay. Uh, so god card would be here. Okay, great. And then here would I like be- how you, have, you have house rules for the way you write <laughs> letters. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then here we're gonna put our your decks. Nope. Uh, and then over here, we still have three spaces, and I don't know what those would be used for at all. Oh, no. um, one of them is the pile where things die. We're gonna put ritualistic sacrifice. We're gonna do it over here. Sacrifice. sacrifice. Escape okay. classic. This is gonna be the army reserve. Nope. That's like your bench. Here. You can put a card there, and it'll do something. Okay. Um, and I'll reveal that soon. Thanks. Great. Good to know. What was even left? Some of your cards were face down. Okay, so over here, we're gonna call this a bunker. Bunker. Okay, bunker. And it's it's kind nope. of like um, it's kind of like the army reserve. Okay. Yeah. Except when something's in the bunker, it's it's safe. It's safe. It can't be it's hurt. safe. It cannot yeah. be hurt if it's in the bunker. Yeah. Things in the army reserve can be hurt. Yes. Can yes. you attack from the bunker? No, you got to get out the bunker. You got to get out of the bunker first. Yeah. Okay, but in you're safe reserves. in the bunker. You're right. A bunker. It seems like you could shoot back. So we're gonna do bomb shelter bunker. We're up to speed. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give you some of the rules. First rule. Uh, is the number of cards. So you're gonna start with seven cards in your hand. Okay. And okay. you're always going to end your turn with seven cards. So you're gonna Great. end your turn by drawing back up to seven, just like Uno. Got it. Perfect, it's the Uno. It seems like 8,000 is the amount of health you're supposed to start with. Yeah. Uh, but instead of okay. getting to zero, uh, the goal is to get your opponent below 69 points. Okay. <laughs> right? Okay. So you don't have to get to zero, you just have to get below 69. To lose. Yeah. Uh, now this is going to require a little bit of brain power, okay? Because I loved that you were changing the directions of them, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Imagine your deck is, or your field is facing the opposite, right? Yeah. The two monster rows are facing each other. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna play kind of like some War for Independence. Your monsters can move one space, either uh, forwards or side to side on the deck, but it cannot move backwards, all right? So if you have a monster here, and you want to attack an enemy monster, you're going to have to take that space. Okay. You get that? Great. So you're gonna take the space, you're gonna battle. If you win, you take that space awesome. from them. Great. So uh, it's like chess. Just like it. And when you summon a monster, if a monster's in your space, you have to auto fight it. You get it? Oh, so yeah. it's so, okay. I can and only the, summon a monster to, if I want to summon a monster, I have to 
he has take to, him out. He has to, yeah, if you want to use that I space. I have to fight my own guy. Yes, and you can only attack the enemy hero if you're in the space in front of them. So I you see. move your space. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that, but there's a slight variation on that. You'll, you'll okay. see. It's a house rule. Uh, so you're going to want to move, and you can also move side to side as well. If you wanted to take out Got an it. enemy that's on your field, you can move side to side. No moving backwards. We're like sharks. Exactly like sharks. This is kind of similar to what I saw. I didn't understand it, but uh, you can summon any monster of a value of four or less. Those are the little stars on mm -hmm. top. Yeah. If you want to summon a monster larger, uh, you're going to have to sacrifice that monster. Uh, so in this version of it, it's not a ritualistic sacrifice. It's just a normal sacrifice, which means it'll go back to your hand. Nope. Okay. okay. So if you want to summon a monster, you have to already have a monster down. That's uh, four or less. You'll, you'll bring it back. Rule number five. You can cast spells at any time, including your opponent's turn. Okay. Great. At any time. Amazing. Um, awesome. The only rule to that is you can only play the same number of cards as the opponent. So if they play one card, you can't do two spells in return. Oh, but if they've played two, two cards in their turn, okay. you can play two cards. That's two only spells. fair. Yeah. That, that makes sense. Fair is fair. Yeah. Uh, monsters can attack other monsters if they are rotated towards their direction. So if you want to fight something that's to your side, I you have to this. rotate it. And you're going to attack that way now. Got okay. it. And the final rule, which is the house rule, if your card looks really cool, it's got something extra, like maybe it's got a bow, maybe it's a conductor dragon, wh whatever it is, uh, you can argue for a little special ability, you know what I mean? Got it. If Great. you've got a bow, maybe you're a ranged attacker. I you like know? that, yeah. Something like that. So, yeah. Okay, um, cool. And that's about it. With that being said, let's duel! Now, as your duel leader judge, I'm going to be deciding who goes first. I'm going to ask you each a question, you're going to answer it, and then we'll start the duel. On average, how many quills are on the back of a porcupine? Uh, 108. 136. All right, Shane is closer. It's 30,000. Wow. Roughly 30,000. Holy 30, crap. 136. Uh, Shane, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I will go second. All right, there you go. Damien, the duel has started. Amazing. You start. Uh, Noah, how many uh, summons may I do per turn? You can summon an unlimited number of monsters or spells. Amazing. So I will be playing the White Stone of Legend. Alexandrite Dragon, Shining Angel, and Heretic Dragon of Tenuit. Ooh, you cannot play Heretic Dragon of Tenuit because it is more than four. Thank the only God. way to play something larger than four is to sacrifice a four and uh, bring it back to your hand and you can do up to double. It's funny that you mentioned sacrificing. Draconic Tactics, tribute two dragon type monsters, which is these. Special summon one level eight dragon from your deck. So this was a ritual. Wow. Right, Noah? Yes. That was That's a, ritual a ritualistic that I'm doing, sacrifice right there. Which means I'm going to summon this level eight monster from my deck. Boom. Wow. It's my blue eyes white dragon. Love to see it. And uh, for my first turn, I'm going to be moving both of these guys into attack position. Wow. Um, against Shane. Look at that. Yeah, so impressive. that's how that goes. Impressive, yeah, very impressive. That was a great first turn. You may draw back up to seven. No, no, I have a, I have a question for clarification yes. here. Um, you mentioned spell slots. Does mm -hmm. that mean there are no slots for traps? Uh, a spell is a trap. A that's trap right. is a spell. That's right. In Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, in Yu Gi Oh! Spells are traps, traps and traps are spells. spells. You can play them uh, whenever you'd like, including on your opponent's turn. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, first, I will. Wait, do I. I don't draw yet because I don't. I have seven cards. Yeah, you're always at seven. When I play a card, do I draw a card then? No, only at end of turn. Only Unless at end your of card turn. allows you okay, to draw Okay, you draw cards. at the end of the turn. Yeah. Got it. You believe me when I said going second was better. <laughs> <laughs> now, first, I will play Fossil Dig, which lets me uh, add one level six or lower dinosaur type monster from the deck to my hand. That's dope. So I'm going to look through my deck. Then I will put this little sneaky there guy, but he's just down there. I'm not telling you what that is. Okay. It's a spell or a trap. And then I will play Soul Eating Overraptor. Now, Soul Eating Overraptor, I can take one dinosaur type monster from my deck and either add it to my hand or send it to the graveyard. Here. Where's the graveyard, Noah? I know we have a ritual sacrifice section. What's the graveyard up to? All right, I'll send it to the ritual sacrifice. Yeah, there. ritualistically okay. sacrifice it for me. He's ritually sacrificed. Okay, thank you. Um, of course. I'm uh, <laughs> uh, then I will also summon this bad boy, uh, Miscellaneousaurus. So I send this to the graveyard, and by doing that, all of my monsters are unaffected by any effects. Uh, if he tries to pull any bullshit, Forever? my guy's immune. So like death, too? Uh, not death, but just any of their okay. effects. You could have uh, said yes. Now, mm -hmm. get this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put this guy in my bunker. Oh, we got a guy in the He's bunker. Uh -oh. bunker. Uh -oh. He's in my bunker. He's just chilling. Uh -huh. right? okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, what I can also do mm -hmm. is I can banish these two uh, from the, from mm -hmm. the ritual sacrifice area. They just go, they're just banished. Okay, they're just goodbye. Destroyed. And by doing that, I can summon Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Oh. And he's there and he's pissed. That's right, because technically in the rules of Nugio, 
whether or not the card said that you could summon it based on sacrificing those, because you sacrificed something that had four stars, you can technically bring something in that has a double. Good job. Thank good you. Play in -Gi -Oh. um, and his special ability, as soon as he's out there, everyone gets to totally scared, uh, all my enemies' monsters, and they go into face down defense position. You gotta, you gotta throw down the, that monster. Oh, right, I have to in, sacrifice. Oh, I don't have that. Oh, no, you yeah. don't have that. And as well, in Nu Gi Oh, uh, attack well, and defense actually, wait. mode don't matter. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Great. Yeah. You can attack and defense at the same time in Nu Gi Oh. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna play this. Um, dis destroy this card during your second standby phase after activation. I have no idea what that is. That's the very end of your turn. That's the very end of my turn. So when that happens, when this card resolves, change all monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. Monsters your uh, opponent controls cannot change their battle positions. But you just okay. said that uh, the attack and defense positions don't attack matter in Yu-Gi-Oh. Attack and defense don't matter, but it would hold you into a sideways defense if you were attacking sideways. Great, great. So, yeah. Okay, great. And so now it gets destroyed at the end of your turn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. On my turn, I can always change my positions anyway, so you've done nothing, Shane. What I will Even say- Even though it says you cannot change your positions? Uh, not this during- This is New Gear. <laughs> Damn it. You did it on the wrong phase, Shane. You fool. I will now be doing something incredibly awesome. So when can I play a six star monster? I still have to uh, you would have to, you'd have to bring back your shining angel. You'd have to bring it back into your hand. That's not possible. How would I do that, sir? Uh, you you just uh, generally sacrifice. You wouldn't ritualistically sacrifice it. Oh, just a general just sacrifice. Just a general yeah. sacrifice. Uh, but your card ritual. asked for a ritualistic sacrifice. Yes, it which, did ask right. for a ritualistic bring sacrifice. Bring it into the New Gear rules. Then I am going to be doing several things here today. I will be playing Mirage Dragon, Kaiba Man, Honest in this position, sacrificing Kaiba Man mm -hmm. into the ritual to bring back Heretic Dragon of Tenuit. Switch Heretic Dragon into attack position here, getting it ready. I will also be using Swords of Revealing Light, which means my opponents cannot declare an attack for three turns. What the f And I will also be attacking with these two for a total of 4,400 damage. No, you won't, because I play my trap. When uh, an opponent monsters declare an attack, change all attack position monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. Monsters changed to face down defense position by this effect cannot change their battle positions. Uh, so in the rules of New Gyo, that means that instead of attacking with your attack numbers, you are going to attack with your defense numbers. Amazing. <laughs> means I only do 3,300 damage. <laughs> all right. Remember, you just have to get them below 69. Lol. Now, uh, Shania, I will say, just so you know, here it says that you may not declare attack moves. Now, if you questioned attack moves, that, that would counts. be allowed. That's, uh, that's mm -hmm. allowed. Great, great, I great. I don't want to hear it. any periods, though. Okay. At what point can I start bunkering, Noah? Uh, you can put anything into the bunker or the reserve anytime. It must be directly from your hand. Uh, the bunker, you can bring a unit from the field into the bunker, but it must be on your side of the map. I see, I see, I see, I see. I will begin my turn Ooh. by playing my first world card. Oh, oh lost in the right world. Because it has world in the title, which makes wow. it a world card. False! Because you played a different card, I can finally do this. You, If you control a dragon type monster, which I do, target one spell or trap card on the field, destroy that target. It's not do, a spell or trap card, it's a world card. It literally says spell. It it's a, a world card, it says world it in the says title. It's a spell. It's a world card, it says no. lost world. One second, one second, one second. Let me look, let me look. All right, it says lost world. Spell card. Okay. Okay, it's looking like this is a spell card. It's looking like this is a spell card. Take 500 damage, you <laughs> Claude. <laughs> Remember, you can play that at any time if you get it back somehow. Uh, if I get it back from, okay. Yeah, I don't I know can, how you'd get it back, but I can do figure that. it out. I can draw a card, because I only have six cards. No, at the end of turn, you draw cards. At the end of my turn. Didn't you okay. listen to his rules? <laughs> <laughs> then right, I will turn sideways and attack his blue eyes white dragon. Wow. That was a period at the end. He declared that attack. Oh, no, you're right. <laughs> you, you must restate um, that. Mm, what uh, happens because he declared it? Restate it. Go what back, happens? go back. May I please, good sir, mm -hmm. attack his blue eyes white dragon? Yes. Great. 3,500 attack against 2,500 defense. defense. It's gone. And I don't and know so about I, you, Do you. I move, I move like that? You or? may. It's dead now and you can take over its place if you'd like. Okay, uh, so that gets sent to his graveyard. Mm. But I will play a uh, Soul Eating Oviraptor, which lets me summon some bullshit from my deck to my hand. Ooh. Or summon, or wait, uh, to take one monster to your deck and add it to your hand or the graveyard. Um, I'm gonna, uh, take uh, Megalo Smasher X from my deck and I'm gonna put him in the graveyard. Then I will uh, attack with this guy to that guy. Uh, 1900 versus 1800, you lose. Oh sh**, didn't see also, what is Also, he lose. declared it again. No, wow. how many times are we gonna have to go across over this rule? Oh my god, then well, never mind. It was then a double penalty. Then it doesn't right. count. No, it wasn't count. a double fault. No, it just yet. doesn't it count, it, doesn't, it never happened. I think that's up to Noah. If you'd like to do it again, though, that will be a double fault. I would like to not do it. Okay, very good job, though. 
It was a, a, I think he no, has double penalty. No, that's a rule penalty. of Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, it's like tennis. You, you did one volley, so you get another attempt. Nugio is just like tennis. Yeah, Damian. that was a bad spike. So I'm gonna not do anything. Okay. That's the end of your turn? I guess so. I am going to um, pull Honesty over here and do a little scooty scoot. Ooh. I am going to then play my Silver's Cry, bringing back my Blue Eyes White Dragon Ooh. right here. I am going to be playing Kaiser Seahorse. Ooh. I will be moving my Blue Eyes White Dragon onto Soul Eating, whatever, doing 1200 damage to Shane and killing this. Wait, okay. whoa, whoa, no, no, you don't damage Shane. I don't, because no. it, it overtook his attack. That's fine, you just killed that monster. You okay. gotta wait until next turn to But wait, it still does a lot of damage. No, not anymore, no. Oh, okay. because no, this no, is New gi no. <laughs> no. In New gi it's just like the war for independence, okay? It's lines of people, it just took the bullet, that's it. Lead Amazing. Lead poisoning got it. Well then in that case, I'll at least attack with these two and do 3,500 damage to Shane. Wow, um, Shane, are you almost at 69? I'm very close to 69. Wow, you're at 1,200? Uh, no. I'm at 700, I've done nothing wow. to date. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you can play spells at any time. Oh, because it's shiny. Mm -hmm. Because this is a shining angel. Mm -hmm. Can Shane? Can Shane like really have to like squint at his cards for the next turn? Uh, I think that might be a special effect. Yes, you got to squint a little bit, and also you look a little bit more tan. Would Would Thanks. you? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Do I do bonus damage for that? Yeah. Okay. Take off fifty damage. <laughs> <laughs> It's new gear, See, man. Uh, 8,000 minus 50, I guess that's 7950. <laughs> Amazing. I'm going to play this card. I will discard one card. I'll get rid of this bullshit. And that can destroy all, both of your spell cards that are out on the field. Ooh. <laughs> you simple idiot. I'm going to banish two more uh, dinosaurs from my wow. deck. Wow. And then I am going to do the special effect that this creature can do, and I can summon uh, two Ultimate Conductor Tyrannos can become 69 Dino. Wow! They are wow. sixty-nining, which means they you do had six two of those thousand. No, they do seven thousand damage. Have two of those wow! Why I have two, two of, of them, and they to combine they make sixty-nine dino. Wow! And I'm going to attack the that guy. So he's going against my defense, and he takes my position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes it. By shining angel. angel dying, I am able to add another thing to the field with fifteen hundred or less attack. Wow! Do it. Now I will say because you are technically sixty-nining, you can choose Lord. whether or not you. Uh, which one attacked? So you, you have a second uh, attack. This, this, yeah, uh, this, the, the ass of this one uh -huh. attacked that okay. one. So, so you've I, got one more attack. And then I'm gonna use the face of this one to attack uh, Blue uh, Eyes, Blue Eyes, White Dragon. Okay, that makes sense. But since it's your face, you can't overtake its position. Okay, just, yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. But I do destroy the Blue Eyes, White Dragon. It's destroyed? You've been 69 to death. That's great. I never thought I'd die that way, but I always kind of hoped. <laughs> um, to quote Fry. Shane, I hope you're ready to Piss yourself with glee, because I am moving this card up, moving this card up, attacking you with Hieratic Dragon with 2100 damage, meaning that you are a little piss baby. Also, I am playing Call of the Haunted uh, as a trap, which I can do right now to bring back the ghost of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Ooh, and he pissed. Ooh, he's so mad at you. Uh, I'm gonna move Honest back over here. Blue Eyes goes here. I am also going to uh, put down these different things just in case, but get ready, because this is attacking you for 2,100 damage. How much do you have? I have 700. Wow. I have a question for Shane. Is negative 1,400 <laughs> less than or equal to 69? <laughs> <laughs> it's less than. And with that, we've got a winner. Look at that, look at that. Ooh, Your we've got so our cool. first ever champion of Nugio. Great job. Thank you, Noah. Wow. Defeating a 69ing Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. They yeah, were very occupied. <laughs> yeah, he went right, right past them. Uh, yeah. They were just kind of chilling there. They were busy doing sex. Uh, after playing a round of Yu-Gi-Oh! and then playing a round of Nugio, what do you think is better? Uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna go with Nugio. I actually do you think like Nugio? Nugio was fun. Yeah, yeah Nugio you like was Nugio? a really great, great time. I Thank did you. 50 damage to Damien. Yes, from your tan. By politely asking Noah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He also it's made your dinosaur a 69. That was pretty sick. Yeah. It was pretty That's disgusting. That's a great move. <laughs> yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. This is House Rules. If you enjoyed watching us play Nugio and you want to try playing Nugio, do it, film it, hashtag House Rules, put it on Twitter or Instagram, and we'll give you a shout out. We're also going to post the rules on Twitter and Instagram, so uh, you'll know how to play. It's, it's really very important. easy. The key is to be confident. And Noah will tell you if there is a rule dispute, just as we hear. You just hit him yes. up any time, day or night. Yeah. Yeah. He will absolutely respond within the hour. Yes. My phone number is seven. <laughs>